Hey Leo, thank you so much for coming um, to your bonus reading. Um, this should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross watching, welcome, welcome. Um, this will be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends on who's actually watching these readings. All right, let's just go ahead and get into your reading. What's the overall energy for love and romance for Leo and their person of interest romantically? What's the overall energy for these two romantically? Ten of Wands. Okay. What is uh, Leo's person of interest or partner? What, what is their energy right now? What is their energy right now? Ten of Swords. Jesus, Leo. Somebody's fucked up here. Let's all be honest. How does Leo feel about their person of interest romantically? How does Leo feel about, about this person? Judgment. Okay. What's the current, what's the current situation between these two romantically, between Leo and their person of interest romantically? Okay, there you are, Leo, looking all lovely, being um, very strong right now. And that's actually funny because that's Mars and Leo. All right, I'm done talking. Let me get your outcome. What's the best potential outcome for these two romantically? Best potential outcome for these two romantically. Okay. Worth waiting for. Hopefully everybody can see that. <clears throat> All right. So I just want to, I just want to kind of, before I begin, I just want to give you the energy that I've been pulling um, for you guys. So I've pulled a couple of times just to let you know, this isn't the first time I'm recording Leo. And um, the energy seems to be the same. And the reason I wanted to pull is because this energy is a very, um, I don't want to say heavy energy, because I feel like on your end, you're feeling much lighter. But that's because there is some type of separation here um, for you and your partner, I feel like. It's like there is some time apart here. Like there is definitely, um, I feel like an ending and I feel like for some reason right now, um, this is a time where you guys have to be very careful. And I'm going to say this and hopefully um, no one is offended. But now is the time for you guys to really like start focusing on yourself and your self-worth. It's, it's really time to heal. And I feel like for you, Leo, <clears throat> because love and romance has been so up and down constantly, it's like, I, I think this is time for you guys to heal. And I think that um, the fact that we have worth waiting here for the um, outcome, it really does say something, right? It's kind of like the light at the end of the tunnel. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, for some of you guys, this is definitely a huge transformation. We have death at the bottom. Somebody may be dealing with a Scorpio or a um, Pisces even a Sag or somebody that has a Saturn um, in Sag. And here's the thing. So for your overall energy, you have the Ten of Wands. I'm going to be honest. In the entire deck, the one card I just never connect with is the Ten of Wands. But for me, I feel like the energy of um, the rest of the month is really understanding, I feel like, what you have to leave behind and what you're moving to, um, forward to. I also feel like somebody like is very committed to doing the right thing. And I feel like it's on your end, Leo. And like you're, you want to play by the rules, right? I also feel like <clears throat> even though there's all this shit going on, you're still very optimistic about what's going on. Look, right as I said that, and I'm going to show you this. Okay. You have the lovers, the five of wands, the five of pentacles, and the two of cups. So obviously there's a lot of love here. Somebody may have a cancer, maybe dealing with a cancer, Gemini, or Pisces. This is um, cancer Venus, five of pentacles. Um, there's Taurus, Mercury, five of wands. We have leo um and saturn and then the lovers so definitely gemini energy so th this is your overall um energy so i definitely feel like this person you guys obviously there is a lot of love between the two of you 
Um, I do feel like, though, with the Five of Pentacles here, um, there there is something that is being let go or somebody that is kind of being showed, showed or shown the cold shoulder here. Like, sometimes I look at the Five of Pentacles as like, no. You know what I mean? And, and I feel like the reason for that is it's taken a period of time, right? You don't get to the Ten of Wands where you're like, fuck it. Like, I've never seen a Leo um, go into something something very serious where there is a lot of love, right? Lovers, two of cups. This is definitely a soulmate connection, but I've never seen Leo go into a relationship and leave very quickly. So I feel like this um, string of events, especially for currently what's going on, it's, it's taken some time to come to this decision. I also feel like it was very, like things have progressively got worse and it's almost like, um, what is it like waterboarding almost like it's very like dink 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 where at first you're cool but then it's like what am i doing and i feel like that's definitely here with the five of pentacles um and i feel like for you leo right now um you're very instinctual and i feel like you guys are um paying attention to your senses and really gaining back i feel like a sense of power here especially with that five of wands and the five of wands is definitely you and i feel like the person that's left out in the cold to keep it 100 i definitely feel like that's your partner um 100 percent. and with the saturn and leo it's it's really about balance um also too there may be some type of fighting going on maybe somebody wants to come over or something's going on where everybody's like nope you need to stay where you are um but this is a very cautious and controlled energy. Some of you may actually be dealing with a third party, right? Because uh, the Five of Wands here, sometimes that can indicate a third party. Um, but for me, this energy is one that's very like, I don't want to say aggressive, but it's because this has gone on for a period of time. And I think that's why you're just over the drama you're over the bullshit, and I do feel like you're ready to move forward. One energy or one card here, please, for Leo and the overall energy. Coffee cup, meeting, conversating, savoring the moment, friendship. Um, so here's the thing. I do feel like right now, because there is a lot of going on between you and your person of interest. I do think now is a time where you really rely on your friends. Um, you talk to them. I, I think it's important for you to continue to have, you know, even like, like, let's say you have a child with this person, keeping things very light, but then also keeping a level, you know, of distance as well. Now, obviously your partner's over here and they're like, hey, everything's fine. Uh, yeah, not so fine, my friend. Uh, especially with that, right? Um, tennis, that's the ten of swords. So that's definitely Mercury in Gemini. I feel like here's the thing, especially with the Mercury in Gemini, this person knows what they've done wrong. Okay. And again, cross watchers, if it's the Leo that's done something wrong, then, you know, um, flip the situation. Okay. So don't, don't like roast me in the comments, please. Um, here's the thing. I think that you know a little bit about everything. This person knows a little bit about everything that's going on. I think that um, their hand's been in multiple pots. I also feel like this, this person is trying to act very detached. Or if they're not detached, it's almost like they're ignoring the entire situation as a whole. And just trying to pretend like it's not there. Why is the Ten of Swords here for their person of interest? overall energy why is the ten of swords here for the overall energy for love and romance why with the empress you yeah. so leo taurus um not leo well i feel like this is you though but it's um what is it taurus and libra i'm sorry I, I feel like this. I feel like um, some of you guys have children with this person, especially because the Empress is here. I feel like this person is upset because, Leo, you're usually the one to take control. You're usually the one to take charge. You're usually the one to make things right here. And I feel like your partner understands that you're in a place right now where you're very comfortable. And you're kind of sitting back like, listen, 
I ain't the one, okay? Unless you're the emperor, which I don't see here, you know, you need to step your game up, period. And I feel like the empress has that energy. Like, she's not somebody who's going to go and chase, but she's also somebody that understands the importance of harmony. And right now, this person isn't at a level of harmony. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Libra because we have the Queen of Swords here as well as death. So there's that Scorpio energy. I do feel like, too, um, somebody's got cut off. Somebody was cut off here. And there definitely was an ending. Some of you may even have an ending with an Aries um, or a Cancer, but I definitely, they may have that in their chart. Um, so we have Libra, Cancer here. We also have Aquarius as well as um, Gemini. But this is an energy where somebody is um, very cold and, you know, they're being very logical right now. There's not a lot of emotions involved. And I think that that's what's ultimately hurting this person and really fucking them up on the inside. One card here, please, for their person of interest energy. One, one time. Thank you. One more card, please. One card here for this person's energy oh, or overall message about their energy, please. Okay. Abundance reverse. So... Here's abundance upright, right? And when abundance is upright, it's it's really about receiving everything that you need, having a positive mindset, being able to manifest what you want, having a level of gratitude, being thankful. But this is reversed. So this person is obviously in a very negative mindset. I feel like they're very fixated on you. I feel like they're in a place where because there's so many ideas that are pumping into their head, especially with the Ten of Swords and the Queen of Swords, I definitely feel like their mind is bogged down with such a heavy energy and they're upset because they're not getting what they want. Leo, if you were giving them money, I feel like that's now stopped. Um, and I do feel like they're angry about how things have ended and how their life is going. And I feel like for you guys, your life is much better because you're now, um, the energy you were putting into this person, you're now putting into yourself. So I actually like that, to be honest. And um, your partner, I don't think your partner did the right thing. I, I, I genuinely don't because for you to be this upset possibly over a third party. Um, but for you to be this upset over, or this person to be this upset over the situation, it's kind of like, well, you know, that's your own doing, right? It's like now you can sit in your head and now you can sit there and think about everything that's happened. And I feel like this person is just, a hot mess. I just feel like they're alone right now. They're in their room. I feel like um, they're definitely in their head. And it's definitely an energy of fixation, which is now turning into like paranoia. So positive note, um, Leo, is you have made a huge impact on your person. So for your energy, we have um, how you feel about them is judgment. You're like, yep, see, karma is a bitch, isn't it? I told you to do this. I told you. I told you what to do. I told you what you needed to do to make things right, and you chose not to. So now you can go ahead and sit in your Ten of Swords. Like, this is how crazy Tarot is. How you look at this person is their energy, the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is here twice. Kind of weird because a deck usually doesn't have two of the same card. Um, or if they do, it tends to be a card that's very positive, but obviously this deck was like, nope, pump the brakes, player. Sorry, I have to take a sip of coffee so I can wake up. <clears throat> but yeah, I think this is judgment. It's like you're getting what you deserve. You wanted to go back and forth, you know, on the situation. You were trying to figure out what was best for you, right? Jupiter and Capricorn, what's best for me, right? Um, also too, it's, it's like this person was continuously going back and forth for some of you guys. Um, 
you know, here's Capricorn here as well as Aries, but also too, there's a level of addiction here, whether that's sex, whether that's alcohol, whether that's drugs, this person continued to go back and forth. And ultimately with the tower here and the King of Cups, you know, there was a big, heavy um, slam here with this tower. This, cow this tower came in and said, nope. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Scorpio or another Leo, um, Pisces or Cancer. But then also, too, with this tower here, I feel like this is happening during um, the virus time. So I think I told you guys the last time that when it comes to COVID-19 or the coronavirus, I always feel like the King of Cups is that. So I just feel like there's a lot of things that are um, very eye-opening here. A lot of things that you're finding out. And for some of you guys, if you're living together, it's like that situation is just, it's tough. But there is a sense of redemption here. Like, I, I feel like for you guys, you're over here very balanced, right? Temperance, Sag, and being very patient while this person over here is just a mess. And it's because you've done what you're supposed to do. You have, you know... Instead of being logically right now, I feel like you, you you are incorporating some emotions, but then at the same time, you're very grounded. Like at any point for you guys right now, you could easily take your take your foot out of the water and place it on ground and then, you know, not have those emotions. So I, I really do feel like for you guys, this is a time for you to see if this person is going to make um, a level of sacrifice here. If they're going to take the time to rest, if they're going to take the time to do certain things. Um, with the double energy, the tower, and um, king of cups, go to rehab, right? For some people, they may have some level of addiction. It's like time for this person to really think about things and make a difference. Here's what's interesting though, Leo. I am going to say this. It's like as angry as you are at this person, part of you does feel like this is this is a cycle or this is something you do. And I'm saying that because your card is Twin Flame. And with the Twin Flame card, I mean, okay, so first of all, I really don't like the whole Twin Flame thing. I feel like people capitalize on it and make money. So I don't like to use that term. However, there are, they, I do feel like some people are twin flames. And for you guys, I feel like you feel like this person is your twin flame. Like you're the yin to the yang. There is a level of balance. I feel like when you two are together, but I think it's when you're apart that things fall apart. And there's a lot of duality here. I feel like your energy, honestly, Leo, is something that's much lighter, right, than this person. Um, I feel like also too, that's why they're the, the, the darker energy, like you're lighter. This is much, um, darker. I also feel like too, um, maybe you and this person are starting to talk, but there it's, it's, it's not a very deep conversation. And I feel like that's just because for you, you're just very hurt and very sad because of this separation or this breakup. It's really taking the time to have to grieve. It's like grieving the death of somebody, even though they're still alive. Okay, we have the seven of wands here for the situation. Um, I mean, again, seven of wands is definitely Leo energy, Mars and Leo. I, I feel like this person is taking a stance and it's kind of like the best defense or Best offense or best defense is a better offense or like hit them first. I don't know how the hell that goes. There, there's some saying like that, right? I feel like for you, because you're in your power, you have the ability to stand on your own two feet and make a decision that's right, even if it's hard for you. I also think, too, that now is the time for the situation and the Queen of Pentacles is reversed, okay? Um, where whatever their temps are coming at you, you're definitely blocking it. Leo or, or uh, Libra or um, Cancer or uh, Capricorn energy, but it's reversed. So it's like you're you're blocking this this type of energy. 
And with the Nine of Wands, that's Moon and Sag. And that's all about like needing a level of space, not wanting to be um, with somebody right now. It's also being very happy and easygoing with, you know, yourself, right? But it's also not allowing anyone in. I feel like you're taking the time to heal. I also think, too, just an FYI for some of you guys, especially with the Queen of Pentacles reverse, there is definitely a split or a breakup here, but I feel like it's on your end, Leo. And I also feel like during this period of time, um, there is going to be somebody that you meet that's new for some of you guys. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. And I also feel like, too, you know, you're still, there is still a level of optimism here with the situation because somebody believes everything is still going to work out. It, you know, it just needs a little bit of time. Look, right, as I said that, the Ten of Cups, right? That's um, Mars and Pisces. It's going to take some time, but it really starts with this person making things right and doing what's best for everyone and not what's just best for this, like for them. Look, Ace of Swords, having that level of clarity, you know, on exactly what they need to do. What are their options? How do they move forward? Um, what do they say to make things right? Can they see you? Can they have that reunion? But I also feel like too, Leo, this is now a time for you to start seeing someone else as well. The Ace of Swords is here because of the Ace of Wands. You see, like there is something new that's coming. Whether this relationship is going through a huge transformation, because I do feel like you guys are physically going through a transformation with Temperance here, the Tower. Um, there is a large transformation. And I feel like for you, you're just going with the flow, but also if somebody new comes in, I feel like you're very receptive of it. And um, look, Nine of Pentacles, Venus and Virgo, you guys are just getting your money together. Like you're focusing on yourself. The Nine of Pentacles is definitely an energy of, you know, somebody who is has a level of abundance, right? I feel like also, too, um, you know, you guys want to make the relationship work, but right now you're okay kind of just doing you, stacking your chips, um, you know, working on yourself physically, mentally. And I also feel like, too, you care a lot about this person and you've done a lot for them, which is why this is such a sensitive topic. And for some of you guys, I feel like you're like, damn, I'm going to be alone forever because this person won't get their head out of their ass. Or like, I feel like you guys are kind of just like, oh my God, am I going to be alone? But the reality is, I just feel like things are out of order right now. And with the Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, this can be a new beginning for the both of you. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, it may be a new start with somebody else. Um... Or a newer aspect of this relationship that you've not seen. I do feel like some of you guys, um, if you were married, you're starting to get a divorce. If, if I feel like there is some type of breakup here because the Queen of Pentacles is reverse. So it's like you're no longer let like you're no longer accepting it. Also, too, for your outcome, worth waiting for. So there's definitely something here that is worth waiting for. Now, whether that's you guys staying single and working on yourself or that's this person that's now coming back around. And um, let's roll. Thank you, Leo. I love you. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.